What's going on everybody, KKM here with another video about tips. This time it's going to be an uplink and I did it on comeback because that's probably the best uplink map. And sorry for my mic right there, you probably didn't even notice. But um, comeback is probably the best uh, map for uplink. So pretty much for those of you who are new to playing uplink or you, like you just got your PS or your advanced warfare on Christmas and you don't know what uplink is and you need help and you need some tips and you want to know what it is uplink pretty much there's a ball you can throw it in for one point in the enemy uplink or you can dunk it in for two points and when you dunk it in i noticed a lot of pros are doing this at uh the two events that have happened already but when they were going in and they were dunking it they pressed rt or r2 r2 whichever one it is to throw i don't know which one it is on playstation anymore because i don't have aw on playstation but um, I do know that they were like pressing the throw button and so it was only giving them one point for a dunk. So um, Uplink is probably the most teamwork requiring game. So Search requires a lot of teamwork as well. But I think Uplink just requires so much communication stuff. So my biggest tip is going to be communicate. So maybe if you're picking up ball right here and you have a teammate that's up top blue and he's going to be like, all right, pass it here. You can just pass it right to him, and then he'll go in, maybe dunk it. He can throw it from there. Or if he says, don't pass it to me, don't pass it to me, then you can just maybe try and, like, hide out, kind of stay alive with the ball, which is a huge thing as well. Maybe go around here or, like, call, I'm going around blue. I need I need help. And then someone might, might be like, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then you can just kind of, like, back up, wait for your teammates to come, and just kind of stay alive. So um, that's that. Another big thing that's very important is staying alive with ball. Obviously, pretty much in CTF, stay alive with flag when you have it until you capture it. Same um, idea in uplink as well. You want to kind of hold on to the ball until you can cap it. So either like pass it, you know, make some passes, or just kind of stay alive. You see someone there, you obviously don't have your gun in it when you're carrying the ball. So you can't challenge anything. And another thing you can do is try and stay close quarters because that way, if you stay close quarters, you can whack people with the ball. Maybe use some nice extra movement, whack, come out here, you can just throw it in like that. So, um, yeah, communicate and stay alive with the ball. And um, you have to know when to pass. So, like, if your teammate's up there, he doesn't say anything. Obviously, you should be saying stuff. You should be communicating nonstop. There shouldn't be a moment of silence in a respawn. Um, if he doesn't say anything, I wouldn't pass to him. Maybe he's in a gunfight. Do not pass it to him. But if he's like going towards the uplink and he's like, pass it, pass it, pass it. And you can just pass it just like that. But um, in case you don't know, passing is actually LT. So like the pass icon will appear above his head. And for some reason they nerf the pass distance. You used to be able to pass like all the way across the map. But now you've got to be like as close from the reset to here. So, um, you know, it's not as nice as it used to be. And um, another tip that I'd... Um, Another tip that I could give you guys is slay out around ball. So, like, instead of just running through here like a dummy, just picking up the ball, um, kind of just sit here and just make sure no one's here. Slay out, because if you have, if you pick a ball and you die, then you're putting your team at a disadvantage by having one down and just stuff like that. And you also have to know when to reset the ball. Like, maybe, hold up, I'll give you an example. So, you take the ball, you run back to your spawn. Da -da 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 -da. The ball's in your spawn, you just slay it out. And there's a lot of people push you from that side that's and that side and up top. Just go ahead, throw the ball out. You throw it out of the map, it resets, and it's pretty much a free reset. So that's very helpful. But one dumb thing would be, you're right here. Oh, let's just throw it out. Like, it resets right here. There's a lot of people in public matches that do that, and it's really dumb. But um, let's say maybe you're in your base right here, and the ball dropped. And they're, you know they're only coming from that side. They're only coming from over there. So you're like, all right, I'm going to run this. And, of course, call it out for your teammates. And you can just run it over this way. And you can get a score out of that. That'd be nice. So um, I threw that way too late. Um, but anyways, no. Yo, why am I so bad at throwing it right now? But know when to reset it. So... Uh, my next or my next tip is going to be know where and when to throw it. So uh, know when to go for the dunk and when to throw it and know where to throw it. So I like, kind of learned some throw spots. And here's one right here that I've learned. You just go front blue. You can just chuck it up and just throw it right up. And I'll make it like every single time. Um, 
I'll make a video on some uplink throw spots, but learn some throw spots. Learn some really nice ones that you can use to your advantage. Like maybe you can go right through here and you can double jump and you can just throw that in easily. So know when to dunk it. You don't have to get over greedy and go for the dunk every time. I prefer to get the one pointers because they're so easy and you have to remember that any one pointer helps. So I'll learn the throw spots, know when to throw it, know when to dunk it. And pretty much just remember any point is a point. It's either getting you closer to the uh, to beating the other team or it's getting you closer to or it's increasing your lead it's either getting you closer to tying it or closer or just increasing your lead so uh, remember that and another very important thing about uplink is launchers and abilities so um if you have something like um well i guess pretty much everybody in respawn either has overclock or mute now but if you have overclock, make sure that when you're picking that ball up, you're turning that on, you're just sprinting, and you're just trying to get there as quickly as possible, and just, you know, make sure you're either getting to your throw spot or you're getting there for a dunk, because uh, you have to take advantage of that. And also, something that I found very useful in Uplink is if you run maybe, like, one or two people with EMPs and then the, other, the rest with stuns, because then you can stun people, but when you're stunned, you can still use EXOs. But if you use EMPs, then not only is it kind of like a system hack, but they cannot use their EXO. So the most they can do is just a normal slide and a jump. So they can't score a two-pointer if they can't double jump. So use EMPs because those are very helpful. So make sure you're utilizing your launchers and your abilities because those are extremely important in this game. Just like, I mean, they aren't as important in other games, but it's kind of nice having nades and stuns. So remember that and you know you have to know when and where to wrap this is one thing i learned from watching clayster like i said in the ctf video uh clayster is really good at these like uplink and uh ctf stuff or games so like i saw ricky was right here and clay was back over here by sandbags and clay was like yo wrap it wrap it and so ricky came out here and he wrapped it and then he had clayster support and i think bolus was out here as well and he just had all the support right here, and he was able to cap that. So, uh, know when to wrap, and you also have to know where to wrap. So, like, if your teammate says wrap it, and he's top blue, don't take it this way. You're just going to look dumb. Or maybe you're over here, he says wrap it, he's over here top blue. Don't take it middle, he's not going to help you there. You're not going to have any help. If you if he says wrap it, and he's top blue, take it over here. Wait for him to push up a little bit. He's going to clear out, and then you can make your moves and get into the base. So, know when and where to wrap. And call out if your teammate has a ball, call out, wrap, and I'll protect you, something like that. Just so that he knows that uh, he's alone, and if he wraps a certain way, that you'll have his cover and you'll help him out. So remember to help out your teammates and kind of slay out for them when they have the ball. So that's very important as well. And um, when you pick up ball, um, a very common setup is to have most people, like all your teammates, on the other side of the map and no one in your base and a lot of people don't like to do that because then it's pretty much an easy cap for them but if you think about it it's really nice because you can have just one person slaying out on ball and he can just pick it up pass it and just get back into position and you can get caps just like that and it's super easy but another thing maybe you might have like one person just sitting back here just kind of patrolling this area you're playing like a zone um style of play you're bringing a zone style of play to this game and uh you you're gonna want to know run towards teammates and run away from it, opponents more um importantly so like if you've got an opponent right here and you've got a teammate up there you're obviously gonna want to come back over here and just kind of try and stay alive maybe get a person that's back here to help you out and then push forward and maybe try and hit that pass there and um that's pretty important right there so run towards your teammates so like if you have teammates over here kind of use them as like your protection and hopefully they can slay out if they don't stay alive it all comes down to staying alive with the ball and stuff like that um and also help your teammate if he has the ball you know he might be like running around here and you're like hold up hold up hold up, come back come back and then he'll turn around he'll come back here he'll kind of hide out and then he can just stay alive with the ball and you can slay out for him he can go in easy cap easy two one pointer um and slay out a round ball so like say um I already I already mentioned this earlier a little bit, 
But so balls right here on respawn, and you got to slay out. Don't just run in there and pick it up blindly. You don't have to pick up the ball right away. It's more important to get the kills out around the ball. Make sure that no one can stop you from capping it, and then you pick up the ball and you take it. So you have to remember um, to slay out before picking up ball, and you have to know when to pick up ball and when to drop the ball and stuff like that. Um, so like for example, if you have ball and uh, you're by yourself, your teammates aren't able to get into a position you're just right here and you're just really not in a good spot so um you're obviously not gonna wait for someone to come around so you can whack him and just kind of do that for everybody what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to throw the ball down maybe like this just kind of throw it down come out slay out uh pick up that two piece or three piece then you can take it there's gonna be two down five second spawn delay throw it you get the cap so just like that um you have to know when to pick it up, when to drop it. You don't always have to be carrying the ball. It's got 30 seconds before it resets automatically. So I, what a lot of people like to do is, let's see, can you throw it up there? Yeah, oh, never mind. But like on Detroit, you can throw it up top garage and it won't reset. It just stays there. So that's 30 seconds of the opponent not being able to grab the ball. Oh my God, I just had a massive voice crack. But um, that's like 30 seconds of the opponent not being able to grab the ball and score. So if you're up, that's... That can be considered a strategy, just throwing the ball up top constantly. Um, so know when to pick up the ball, when to drop it, and this obviously ties in with the slay out first. You, I mean, you're not just going to pick up the ball like a dummy and just run it when there's people there, there's people there, there's people up there, there's people over there. You're obviously not going to want to pick up the ball at that time. And also kind of set up with your team, maybe in like go into a private match or even a public match. And just kind of set up like ball running strats like maybe find out where you want each person to stay like with their roles and stuff and you know just kind of like make up strategies so like it can be easy if you have a person that's able to stay alive in their base and you can just kind of pass it up top blue get back in position you've got a person covering your back and you can just kind of keep doing that over and over again and get 10 points like that easily so um learn ball running strats learn setups that kind of ties into the same thing as well um, so kind of like learn to um, like set up a round ball and learn how to stop them when they get into your base and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, I mean, those are probably really important in uplink and obviously play around the ball most of the time in blitz and that game was like that. You're, you're watching every single lane. Like you'd have a person watching left side, middle and right. And I know blitz isn't in the game. I'm just making a reference. So You'd be watching lanes and blitz, but in uplink, you're going to want to play around the ball all the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. So, like, instead of having one person at each different area, have all of them right around the ball. Maybe have people watching that way. Maybe even one person is watching that way, and then have all three of the other players is watching this way. Because uh, if the other team knows how to play uplink and you don't, you're going to get beat bad, and it's going to be like a 20 nothing. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoy this tips and tricks video, or I guess just tips. Um, I'm going to be making a spots video for Uplink coming up soon, and I know a lot of spots, so I'm going to teach you guys that. And you're gonna, if you learn them, you're going to be unstoppable at Uplink, and you're going to be a really good Uplink player, and a really smart Uplink player is better than a good Slayer, because Uplink's one of those game modes where the OBJ is more important than Slaying. So... Uh, if you enjoy these tips and they help you out in any way, uh, please click the like button below and comment if you have any comments and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.